don't panic. All hands on deck. It's Christmas. It's three o'clock in the morning. The noisy night. Peppa's family are having a sleepover at Cousin Chloe's house. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. You must be tired after your long journey. Yes, an early night would be nice. First, we'll put baby Alexander to bed. <laughs> this is baby Alexander's bedroom. <laughs> Alexander likes noise. It sends him to sleep. <laughs> we like noise in this house. We're a noisy family. Peppa, George, you're staying in my room tonight. Oh, goody. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George are excited to be sleeping in Cousin Chloe's bedroom. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Night, night. Everyone is tucked up in their beds, asleep. <coughs> Baby Alexander is awake. <coughs> Peppa and George are awake. What's that noise? It's the vacuum cleaner. Um, why are you vacuuming at night? We're not disturbing you, are we? What? Oh, no! <coughs> we found noise is the best way to get baby Alexander back to sleep. <coughs> he likes noise. We're a noisy family. <coughs> Everyone is back in their beds, asleep. Baby Alexander is awake. Why is Auntie Kate playing a trumpet? To get Alexander to sleep. The more noise, the better. Is there another way that doesn't use noise? We do find noise is the best way. When George was a baby, we used to put him in his pram and wheel him around the house. And that always sent him to sleep. How strange. No loud noises. That's right. How many times round the house was it, Mummy Pig? Three times? Fifty times. <sighs> Daddy Pig is pushing baby Alexander around the house. Fifty times. <sighs> Good. Baby Alexander is asleep. Can you let me back in? I'll just switch the alarm off. Switch the alarm back on. Peppa, what are you doing up? I can't sleep, Daddy. It's a noisy night. OK, Peppa. Let's get you back to bed. Now. Which bedroom are you staying in? Stop, Daddy! That's baby Alexander's room! Ah. <coughs> the light has woken baby Alexander. It's all right. I've got the vacuum cleaner. I've got the trumpet. Stop! Stop! I remember another quiet way we used to get George to sleep. Oh, yes! We drove him around in the car. I'll get the car started. Don't forget the Daddy Pig has set off the noisy house alarm. The noisy house has woken everyone up. It's Miss Rabbit in her rescue helicopter. Is everybody all right down there? I heard the alarm. Yes, thank you. All right. Cheerio. Oh, all that loud noise has sent baby Alexander to sleep. He's really fast asleep now. Oh, thanks to my noisy daddy. Well done, Daddy Pig. We should have you to stay more often. <laughs> <laughs> Shadows. It is a lovely sunny day. Peppa, George and Rebecca Rabbit are playing Piggy in the Middle. Cat, Peppa. Cat, Rebecca.
car. George is the piggy in the middle. <laughs> oh, George is trying to catch the ball's shadow. Silly George, that's not the ball, that's just its shadow. Look! When the ball moves, its shadow moves as well. You've got a shadow too, George. George is trying to walk away from his shadow. You can't walk away from your shadow. You need to run away from it. Peppa is trying to run away from her shadow. Oh, it's still there. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Susie. We're trying to run away from our shadows. No one can run away from their shadow. Oh. You need to use a scooter. Whee! Susie is trying to ride away from her shadow. See? But your shadow is still there. Oh! Hello, everyone. Here is Mr Elephant with Emily and Edmund. Hello. We're trying to run away from our shadows. You can never run away from your shadow. I know. We can't go fast enough. No, Susie. It's nothing to do with how fast you run. You see? My shadow is still underneath me. Run faster! Even if I run faster, my shadow keeps up with me. Daddy, your shadow is too big. It's slowing you down. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that, Emily. Your shadow always stays with you. Why? When something gets in the way of the sun, it makes a shadow, like this. Oh. oh! I have the biggest shadow because I'm the biggest. And George and I have the smallest shadows because we are the smallest. Very clever, Edmund. I'm a clever clogs. <laughs> <laughs> shadow is that? That's the biggest shadow ever. It must be a giant. <laughs> it's not a giant. The shadow is being made by a cloud. Wow. What sort of cloud is it? Um, it's a big cloud. It's called a stratocumulus. Yes. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. Look. Our shadows are getting longer. Ooh! That's because the sun is getting lower in the sky. It's nearly night time. My shadow has gone. Yes, Emily. When the sun sets, the shadows go away. Peppa, George, bedtime. OK, Daddy. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. It is bedtime. I'm a bit sad that my shadow's gone away. Don't be sad, Peppa. The electric light can make shadows. And we can make shadow puppets. Mummy Pig is using her hands to make a shadow puppet. It's a birdie! <laughs> <laughs> Listen to it sing. Tweet, tweet, I'm a little birdie. <laughs> my turn. Peppa has made a spider. My name is Mr Skinny Legs. Oh, scary. <laughs> George is making a shadow puppet. What's that, George? Dinosaur. Brrr. George has made a dinosaur. <laughs> That's really scary. Very good, George. <laughs> Time to switch the lights out. Good night, Pepper. Good night, George. Good night, shadows. Good night, Shadows. Stars! It is almost time for bed. Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and Pepper are having mugs of hot milk. <laughs> George! Why are you dressed up in that space suit? You should be in your pyjamas. <laughs> George loves everything to do with space. Oh. <laughs> George, take your space helmet off to drink your milk. <laughs> <laughs> Bedtime, little ones. 
<laughs> At night, George likes to listen to his space mobile. Not space again. <sighs> it's boring. Space isn't boring. It's full of stars. I can't see anything. It's too dark. It's easier to see the stars from outside. Can we go outside now? Peppa, you're in your pyjamas. Maybe if you put your coats on over your pyjamas, we could go outside just this once. Hooray! <laughs> Daddy, why are you lying on the ground? This is the best way to see the stars. <laughs> Look at these little stars. Imagine you are joining the dots. That's called the Big Dipper. Ooh. Yes, and the two stars at the end point to the North Star. Wow! North Star, North Star, are you near or are you far? Can we get there in the car? <laughs> no, Pepper. The stars are much too far away. Are they even further than the seaside? Oh, yes. But they look a lot closer through a telescope. Have we got a telescope? <coughs> no, but Grandpa Pig has a very good telescope. Can we go to Grandpa Pig's house now? <laughs> it's much too late. <coughs> Maybe we can go just this once, Daddy Pig. Hooray! It is the first time Pepper and George have been in the car at night. Look, we're following the North Star. <laughs> North Star, North Star, shining with a twinkly glow. Please show us the way to go. <laughs> Pepper and George have arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Oh dear, I do hope Grandpa and Granny Pig haven't gone to bed. What are you doing here at this hour? We want to see the stars. Peppa and George were hoping they could look through your telescope. I see. Very well. To the top of the house, everyone. <laughs> here she is, old Bess. Wow! Grandpa Pig's hobby is looking at the stars. Now... Who's for the first look? Me, me, me! Ooh, the North Star! We sailors use it to find our way home. Daddy used it to find his way here. <laughs> <laughs> Are there other things in the sky? Yes. This is a planet called Saturn. Wow! What are those pretty rings? They are made of rock and ice. Saturn is very, very cold. We could build a snowman, George. <laughs> 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 Quick! Look! Oh! It's a shooting star. You must make a wish. I wish that when George is old enough to have his own rocket, he will take me into space. <laughs> the Tooth Fairy. Pepper and George are having their favourite food. Spaghetti. <laughs> what a lot of noise. Finished! Ah, now we'll have a bit of quiet. <laughs> What's that? It's a tooth. Where did that come from? <laughs> Pepper, maybe you should look in the mirror. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's my tooth. It's fallen out. Don't worry, Pepper. It's just a milk tooth. They're meant to fall out. Will I grow a new one, Mummy? Yes, you will, Pepper. It also means the Tooth Fairy will be paying you a visit. 
tooth fairy? Yes, the tooth fairy. If you put the tooth under your pillow tonight, the tooth fairy will come. The tooth fairy will take the tooth and in its place she will leave a shiny coin. When I grow up, I want to be a tooth fairy. Oh, <laughs> and what would you like to be when you grow up, George? Dinosaur. <laughs> a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, George, it's bedtime. We don't want to miss the tooth fairy. Before going to bed, Pepper and George brush their teeth. Pepper, what are you doing? I'm brushing my tooth so it's nice and clean for the tooth fairy. <laughs> Pepper cannot wait to get into bed. Pepper is putting her tooth under the pillow for the tooth fairy. Good night, Pepper and George. <laughs> Good night, Mummy. Good night, Daddy. Good night, my little piggies. <laughs> George, I'm not going to sleep. Let's both stay awake all night and see the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> <laughs> this Tooth Fairy is very late. <sighs> the Tooth Fairy is taking a long time to arrive. Where is that Tooth Fairy? What is that noise? Is it the Tooth Fairy? George? Can you hear something? Oh, George. Oh, the noise is George. He was so tired he has fallen asleep. George is not very good at staying awake, but I am. I'm going to stay awake and see the Tooth Fairy. I'm not going to sleep. <sighs> <sighs> The Tooth Fairy has arrived. But Pepper is asleep. Hello, Pepper. Would you like this coin in return for your tooth? What a nice clean tooth. Thank you, Pepper. Good night. Pepper, George, wake up. It's morning. Sleep. Did the Tooth Fairy come? No. Let's take a look under your pillow. Oh, look, Pepper. The Tooth Fairy has been and she's left you a coin. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> you fell asleep, didn't you? Well, maybe I fell asleep just for a little bit. <laughs> Next time I will stay awake and I will see the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> sleepover. It is night time. Pepper is going to a sleepover at Zoe Zebra's house. <laughs> Hello, Zoe. Hi, Pepper. Welcome to my sleepover. I'll pick you up in the morning. Bye bye, Pepper. Bye. <laughs> Rebecca, Susie and Emily are already here. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. I've got my teddy. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Zoe has her toy monkey. Oh, oh, oh. Emily has her frog. <laughs> Susie has her owl. Twit twoo. And Rebecca has her carrot. Carrot, carrot. <laughs> <laughs> Mr Zebra is watching television. Better. I was watching that. But it was a bit boring, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy Zebra is going to bed now. He has to get up early to deliver the post. Very well, Mummy Zebra. Don't stay up too late. Good night, Mummy. Peppa and her friends are getting into their sleeping bag. <laughs> Zoe's baby twin sisters, Zuzu and Zaza, want to join the sleepover too. The sleepover is only for big girls. Oh, they're 
They're so sweet and little. Can they stay? OK, but you must promise you'll stay awake. We promise. <laughs> <laughs> wow, a piano. I'm having lessons. Listen. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Can I have a go? And, and me. me. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Shush! You must be quiet so Daddy Zebra can sleep. Now, into your sleeping bags, please. What do we do now? On sleepovers, there's always a midnight feast. What's a midnight feast? We eat things in secret. Ooh! I know where there's food, but we must be very quiet. <laughs> Shh, Susie. Shh, Peppa. Quiet. Mummy Zebra has woken up. We're going to have the best midnight feast ever. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? You'll wake Daddy Zebra. Now, who knows a nice, gentle bedtime story? Me. And me. I'll start. Once upon a time, there was a little fairy. Now your turn, Peppa. And she lived in the forest. She was very pretty. And she had a fairy wand. Lovely. Your turn, Emily. Tell us what happens next. Well, I'm not really sure. Just say anything, Emily. As long as it's not boring. OK. The little fairy met a big monster who went... <laughs> too scary! <laughs> What's all this noise? Oh, dear. The noise has woken Mr Zebra. Sorry, Daddy. There was a story about a fairy. And a scary monster. And we want to know what happens next. Very well. <coughs> The monster lifted up his big, hairy paws oh. and walked along on his big, hairy feet. Ooh. And he said, Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Mr Zebra's song has sent everyone to sleep. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are going out for the evening. Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig are going to babysit. Granny Pig! Grandpa Pig! Donkey Pig! Papa Pig! Hello, my little ones. Hello! Pepper, George, into your beds, quick. <laughs> Good night, my little piggies. Good night. Sleep tight. Good night, Mummy. Good night, Daddy. What little darlings. Now go to sleep quickly. Yes, Mummy. So well behaved. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are leaving for their evening out. Pepper and George are so good. They just fell asleep when Mummy Pig told them to. This babysitting is easy. George? George, are you awake? What strange noises. I wonder if we should check upstairs. <laughs> Papa! George! Are you awake? Mm. 
Well, I never. Fast asleep. So, it wasn't Pepper and George making all that noise. I can't hear anything. I think they really have fallen asleep. Let's watch some television. Gardening. Today we are talking about roses. Oh, I love gardening programs. The gift skate is a particularly thorny rose. To prune it, start by lopping off the head and then snip away the budding shoots. Granny Pig. Pepper, George, you should be in bed asleep. George and I aren't sleepy at all. <coughs> Can we watch TV with you? Well, I suppose watching a little TV might make you sleepy. Hooray! <laughs> Icelandic roses are a rare treat for the discerning horticulturalist, but they are prone to lobbing in temperate habitats. Ooh, this programme is very boring. Ooh. Grandpa Pig, can you play that game where you throw us up and catch us? OK, but just one turn each. <laughs> Whee! Oh, 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 you seem heavier than before. <laughs> now it's George's turn. Whee! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. My turn. Whee! <laughs> higher, higher. <laughs> Maybe Grandpa Pig is a bit tired. I know. <laughs> Granny Pig, let's play catch. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are back home. I hope our little piggies are asleep. Hello? Anyone here? <laughs> the little piggies are asleep, and so are the big piggies. <laughs> <laughs> It is almost bedtime. Pepper and George are just finishing their supper. Mm. Daddy Pig. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm a bit tired. It's been a long day. George and I aren't sleepy at all. Can we play in the garden? But it's almost your bedtime. Can we play outside for just a tiny bit? Please, Mummy. Please, Daddy. <laughs> all right. But you must come in when we call you for your bath. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where they get their energy from. Peppa and George are playing one last game outside before bedtime. Look, George. Lots of muddy puddles. <laughs> Peppa and George are wearing their boots. They are going to jump up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> George loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Look! The biggest puddle in the world! What a huge big puddle! <laughs> Peppa! George! Bath time! <laughs> Daddy! Mummy! We found the biggest muddy puddle in the world! I can see that. <laughs> Quick, into the bath. Oh, can't we just play outside a bit longer? <laughs> no, it's bath time. <laughs> <laughs> are you and George feeling sleepy? No, Daddy. We are not even a tiny bit sleepy. <laughs> Pepper and George might not be sleepy, but I am. Me too. <sighs> Before bedtime, Pepper and George have their bath. <laughs> Pepper likes splashing. George likes splashing. Pepper and George both like splashing. <laughs> That's enough splashing. Let's get you dry and into your pajamas. Oh, can't we just stay in the bath a little bit longer? <laughs> bath time is over. Now it's time to clean your teeth. 
Before going to bed, Pepper and George brush their teeth. <laughs> OK, that's enough brushing. Into your beds. Oh, I think our teeth need a bit more cleaning. When you're in bed, Daddy Pig will read you a story. <laughs> Pepper and George like stories. <laughs> When Peppa goes to bed, she always has her teddy tucked up with her. When George goes to bed, he always has Mr Dinosaur tucked up with him. Are you feeling sleepy now? No, Daddy. We need lots and lots of stories. Daddy Pig will read you one story. Now, which book do you want? Um, the Red Monkey book. <laughs> OK, I'll read you the Red Monkey book. Peppa and George like the Red Monkey book. Once upon a time... <sighs> oh, sorry, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a red monkey. And this red monkey had a bath. And cleaned his teeth. He got into his bed. And soon he fell fast asleep. Good night, red monkey. Pepper and George are asleep. Good night, Pepper and George. Sleep well. <sighs> now Pepper and George are asleep, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are going to watch some television. And now it's time for the amazing Mr. Potato. I've been looking forward to watching this program. The amazing Mr. Potato is always ready for action. He runs fast. He jumps high. He never sleeps. <sighs> It is bedtime for Pepper and George. And it looks as if it is bedtime for Mummy and Daddy, too. Long train journey. Pepper and her family are having breakfast. Oh. What's the matter, Daddy Pig? I need to go on a long journey for work. Can we come too? It's work, Pepper, and it's a long, long way by train. Choo-choo! <laughs> Please, can we go? It won't be fun. I'm testing concrete. I need to know the relative density to mass to calculate for voids in the aggregate. I need to know that too. Uh, what does Mummy Pig think? I think it sounds lovely. But it's hundreds of miles away in another country. Please, Daddy Pig. All right. We can all go. Hooray! This is the train station. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is the train driver. All aboard! <laughs> Full steam ahead! Are we nearly there yet? No, Pepper. It's a long journey, so you'll just have to be patient. <sighs> Why not sing a song to pass the time? OK. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the tree runs on the track. Huff and puff, huff and puff, clickety-clickety-clack. I've sung a song. Now are we nearly there? Oh, oh, there's still a long way to go, Pepper. We won't get there until tomorrow morning. But what about bedtime? Where will we sleep? Right here. But this isn't a bedroom, Daddy. Watch this. <laughs> Magic beds. <laughs> and here's where we brush our teeth. A magic bathroom. There's a little basin with little taps. And that's not all. A magic toilet. I wonder what this button is for. Ah. <laughs> Daddy has found the magic shower. <laughs> Hello. Passports, please. Of course. Ah, you are Mr. Pig? The Mr. Pig. You must be coming to test our concrete. Uh, yes. Do you know me? Oh, your work in concrete is famous in our country. Oh, but I have disturbed you. Good night. Uh, good night. It is bedtime. <sighs> night, night, Pepper and George. Night, night, my little piggies. Night, night. Pepper and George are tucked up in their little beds on the train. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the train runs on the track. 
Huff and puff, huff and puff, ba da 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 boop boop. It is morning and time for breakfast on the train. Good morning. Miss Rabbit, aren't you meant to be driving the train? It's fine. The train runs on rails. It can't get lost. Would you like coffee or orange juice? I'd like both, please. No, coffee or orange juice. You can't have both. I don't think we have to be so strict with the famous Mr Pig. Coffee and orange juice. Thank you. Excuse me, I am King Alfonso. Could I have a coffee and orange juice too? No, that is impossible. Pepper and her family have arrived at the end of their long train journey. We are honored to have your visit, Mr. Pig. Thank you. Here is the concrete for you to test. Daddy Pig is an expert at concrete. Hmm. Very good. Hooray! I hope the trying journey wasn't too long and tiring. No, it was lovely. What do we do now? My job is done. So we can take the train back home. Oh, goody. We get to sleep on the train again. <laughs> Peppa loves long train journeys. Everyone loves long train journeys. <laughs> Bedtime story. It is night time. Daddy Pig is reading Pepper and George a bedtime story. And so the prince, the princess, the budgie and the frog all lived happily ever after. The end. The bedtime story has sent Pepper and George to sleep. Good night, my little piggies. George is awake. I saw. George, you naughty piggy. Go back to sleep. George is not sleepy. George, night time is for sleeping, not playing. I can tell you a bedtime story. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a little pig. His name was Georgie Pig. <laughs> and he was off to make his fortune. Soon he came to a forest. Do you like the story, George? <laughs> Inside the forest was a little house. And inside the house was a bowl of porridge. <coughs> Georgie Pig was very hungry, so he ate it all up. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> but just as he finished, Baby Bear walked in and said, Oi, did you eat my magic porridge? Georgie said, Yes. Baby Bear said, That was magic porridge. It will make you go very big. And then Georgie Pig began to grow. He grew and he grew and he grew until he was taller than all of the trees in the forest. The end. Are you sleepy, George? No. Not even a little bit? No. <sighs> OK, I'll do a bit more story. Baby Bear said, there is a box of golden treasure at the end of the world. But it's too far for me to go, because I'm too little. Georgie said, I will carry you there. So Georgie Pig walked to the end of the world. He walked and he walked and he walked. Are you sleepy yet? No. He walked through forests, across mountains, across seas. And are you sleepy yet? No. He walked all the way to the end of the world and found a big box of golden treasure. Ooh. And a big dragon. Grrr. Yes, a big green dragon with little wings and breathing fire. Roar! 
Luckily, it was a very friendly dragon. And he said, you can have the treasure. But then Georgie Pig began to shrink. He shrank and he shrank and he shrunk until he was the same little Georgie Pig as he was before. How will we get back home now? said Baby Bear. I can fly you home, said the dragon. So Georgie Pig and Baby Bear hopped on the dragon's back and flew all the way back home to the little house in the forest. And then it's the end. George is asleep. Pepper is asleep. Pepper, what are you doing out of bed? Night time is for sleeping, not playing. Night night, my little piggies. Sweet dreams. Pepper and George are in their little beds, fast asleep. Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and George sailing. Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig. Here are Mr. Stallion and Mrs. Corgi. They are members of the sailing club. Hello, we're just going out for a sail. It's a bit early for sailing. Yes, you can't go sailing now. Thank you for your advice. See you later. Grandpa, your friend said that we can't go sailing yet. They don't know what they're talking about. Oh, bother. Grandpa's boat is stuck in the mud. There's no water, Grandpa. Uh, yes. The tide seems to be out. So we can't go sailing? Don't worry. The water will come back again soon and the boat will rise up. The water is coming back. It certainly is. The water is lifting Grandpa's boat out of the mud. <laughs> Bobbing up and down. Let's go sailing. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> I love sailing. Oh, hi there, Grandpa Pig. Are you OK, though? Do you need any help or advice, old chap? We're doing just fine, thank you. Bye. Grandpa, they're going quicker than us. There's no need to hurry when you're sailing. <laughs> We're bobbing up and down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. A bobbing, 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 bobbing up and down. The boat bobs up and down. <laughs> <laughs> Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig. Time to head back if you don't want to miss the tide. If you leave it too late, you'll get stuck in the mud. Ha-ha! <laughs> right you are. <coughs> Goodbye. I don't listen to them. I know more about the tides than they ever will. <laughs> the boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up. Oh, we've stopped bobbing. Ah, the tide seems to have gone out. Are we stuck in the mud, Grandpa? Yes, but only until the tide changes. Then the water will lift us up again. When will the water come back? Uh, tomorrow morning. Oh. We'll just have to spend the night on the boat. A sleepover! Hooray! <laughs> I'd better give Granny Pig a call. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Granny Pig. We've decided to spend the night out on the boat. <laughs> you mean you've got the tides wrong? No, no, of course not. I, I just... We're uh... stuck in the mud, Granny. <laughs> I knew it. It's an adventure, Granny. We'll see you in the morning. Where will we sleep, Grandpa? Here. <laughs> the boat has two little bunk beds. <laughs> and I will sleep on deck under the stars. Night, night, Grandpa. <laughs> night, night, Pepper and George. Pepper and George are asleep in the bunks. Grandpa Pig is asleep on the deck. 
the stars are twinkling in the sky above. It is morning. We're bobbing up and down. <laughs> Look, children, the water is back. Hooray! Grandpa Pig's boat is floating again. Time to sail home. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. <laughs> the boat bobs up and down. <laughs> Granny Pig has come to meet Pepper and George. Granny Pig! Thank you. Hello, my little ones. Did you have a nice time? Yes! We got stuck in the mud and had a sleepover. <laughs> Pepper <laughs> loves sailing. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> loves sailing. <laughs> It is bedtime for Pepper and George. Good night, my little piggies. Granny and Grandpa Pig have come for dinner. Hello. Hello. Where are Pepper and George? They're asleep. Oh, but I so wanted to see them. Can I take a peek? OK, Granny Pig, but be very quiet. <laughs> Granny Pig! Hello, my little darlings. You should be asleep. Tell us a story. OK, but only if you promise to go straight back to sleep. We'll go to sleep after the story. All right. Once upon a time, there was... A little boy called Pedro Pony, and he found some magic beans. Oh, yes. Now, Pedro planted that bean and it grew into an enormous beanstalk that went high into the sky. That's right. Pedro climbed to the top of that beanstalk and found a... a horrible big giant. But I don't want that. I want a princess. Oh, yes. There he found a beautiful Princess Pepper <laughs> and Sir George, the brave knight. <laughs> and a cook who makes the most delicious food ever. <laughs> Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and Grandpa Pig are waiting to eat dinner. I'll go and see what's keeping Granny Pig. What's next in the story? Naughty Granny Pig. You woke the little ones. He promised to sleep. When the story ends, Grandpa. I'm good at ending stories, Granny Pig. You go downstairs. I won't be long. There's a boy, a beanstalk, a beautiful princess, a brave knight, and a cook who makes a lovely dinner. Well, after they ate the lovely dinner, everyone fell asleep. The end. Then they all woke up. And along came a wizard. A wizard? Yes, a wizard. We're going to do a big magic show. Ah, uh, but... Then along came a scary dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Pig, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are still waiting to eat dinner. <laughs> that bedtime story doesn't seem to be working. I'm the expert at telling bedtime stories. I'll have them asleep in no time. Ah, a scary dragon! <laughs> Emma, George, back to bed. But Grandpa hasn't finished the story yet, Daddy. I'll finish the story. I'll be down in a minute. <laughs> OK. There's a boy, a beanstalk, a castle, a beautiful princess, a brave knight, a cook, a wizard and a scary dragon. And a very hungry king. So they all had a big dinner and lived happily ever after. The end. Then they had a party. And all their friends came. <laughs> right, I think I'd better sort this out. <laughs> Daddy Pig. They're almost asleep. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take over now. You have to finish the story, Mummy. All right, quickly now. Tell me what's happened. Once upon a time, in olden days, a long time ago... Mummy Pig's been up there for a long time. I can hear snoring. At last, Pepper and George are asleep. And 
then they all lived happily ever after. The end. Peppa? George? Shush! Mummy is asleep. <laughs> it looks like Princess Pepper is the best at telling bedtime stories. That's right. I am. <laughs> <laughs> The Sleepy Princess It is night time. Peppa and George are going to bed. <laughs> Good night, Peppa and George. Mummy? Daddy? Yes, Peppa? I'm not sleepy. Can I have a story? But maybe George is sleepy and doesn't want a story. George, do you want a story? Say yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I will tell you just one story. If Daddy Pig tells you a story, you must both promise to go to sleep. We promise. <laughs> hmm. I think I'll tell you the story of the Sleepy Princess. Is it a good story? It sounds a bit boring. It's not boring. It's very good. Is there a little princess in it? Pepper, if you keep talking, Daddy Pig can't start the story. Sorry, Mummy. Is there a little princess in the story, Daddy? Oh, <laughs> yes. There is a little princess in it. <coughs> hmm. The Sleepy Princess. Once upon a time, in a castle, there lived a little princess. And she was called the Sleepy Princess. Daddy, why was she called that? I'll get to that later. Was the Sleepy Princess pretty? Yes, she was very pretty. She loved looking at herself in the mirror. I am so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Who else was living at the castle? Uh, well... The others in the castle were the Small Prince, <laughs> Queen Mummy... <laughs> And King Daddy. That's right. They were all living there as well. Did King Daddy have a big tummy? Of course not. He was very handsome. Like me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there was also a dragon. Dinosaur! A dinosaur? Oh, yes. It wasn't a dragon. It was a dinosaur. Living outside was a huge, fierce dinosaur. Oh dear, maybe the dinosaur wasn't quite that fierce, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Sorry, George. No, the dinosaur was very gentle. It ate lots of grass. Daddy Pig! Oh, sorry. I was being the dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, why is the princess called the Sleepy Princess? I'm coming to that. You see, the sun set, then the stars and moon came out, and everyone got very sleepy. <sighs> but the most sleepy of all was the Sleepy Princess. Peppa, are you sleepy? No, Daddy. I am not sleepy at all. But somebody is. George, wake up. You'll miss the end of the story. Well, Peppa might not be sleepy, but the sleepy princess certainly was. Looking at herself all day in the mirror had completely worn her out. <sighs> Let's carry you to bed. Good night. The sleepy princess was so sleepy, she had fallen fast asleep. Thank you for that story, King Daddy. You're welcome, Queen Mummy. And our little prince and princess enjoyed it too.
cowboy. It is a lovely sunny day. Pedro has a new play tent. Here are Pepper, George, Danny Dog, Susie Sheep, and Wendy Wolf. Hello, Hello Pedro. Pedro. Howdy, everyone. Welcome to my cowboy camp. Yeehaw! It's a tent. It's a cowboy camp where cowboys sleep at night time. Are you going to sleep here in the night? <laughs> um, no. That might be a bit scary. But we can pretend it's night time. But it's not night time. Just pretend the sun is the moon. Okay. okay. Pedro, can we be cowboys too? Yes, you could be my partners. <laughs> <laughs> is my little cowboy hungry? I sure am, Ma. That's how cowboys speak. Would you cowboys and cowgirls like something to eat too? Yes, please, Ma. Do the cowboys always camp next to their mummy's kitchen? No, you have to pretend the house is not here. This is the Wild West. What's that? The Wild West is the land where cowboys live. What do cowboys do? They tell stories, sing songs and eat beans. Beans on toast for everyone. Hooray! Cowboys love beans on toast. Everybody loves beans on toast. Who wants a cowboy song? Do you know a real cowboy song? Yes, I made it up and it goes like this. I'm a brave cowboy and I'm eating my beans with a bing and a bong and a boo. Baked beans bang, baked beans boo, baked beans bingly bongly bang. I could tell a story. Make it scary. <laughs> it was a wet and windy night in the Wild West. Ooh. And wild animals were out looking for food. Looking for food at night? Some animals eat at night, Susie. Wild animals. Brrr. And the brave cowboy Pedro was alone in his tent. But he couldn't sleep because something was outside the tent. <laughs> was it a wild animal? What's that? It's a wild animal! <laughs> ah! Oh! It is a tiny little bird. Come to look at Pedro's tent. I think it was an eagle. Eagles live in the Wild West. Is everybody all right? Yes, Mummy. It's nearly home time. But we haven't done the pretend sleeping yet. Everybody back in the tent. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, partners. Good, Good night, night, Cowboy Pedro. Pedro. <sighs> I'm glad there aren't any wild animals out there. Oh. Wild animals! Ah! It's a wolf! Yes, it's my daddy. Oh. Mr Wolf has come to take Wendy Wolf home. All the parents are here to pick up the children. Bye-bye, Cowboy Pedro! Bye-bye, everyone! Are you coming in, Pedro? I want to pretend sleeping a bit more. OK. Mummy, can I come in now? Yes, my brave little cowboy. Even brave little cowboys like to sleep indoors sometimes. Night, Pedro. Good night, Ma. Night animals. Pepper and George are having a sleepover at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Grandpa, where are you going? It's bedtime. Don't worry, Pepper. I'm just going into the garden to collect slugs and snails. Why? Grandpa doesn't like slugs and snails because they eat his vegetables. 
And the best time to find them is at night with this torch. Can George and me come too? Please? <laughs> OK. Just this once. Put your coats and boots on. <laughs> Pepper and George are wearing their coats and boots over their pyjamas. You carry the bucket, Pepper, and I'll hold the torch. Don't stay out too late, Grandpa Pig. OK, okay Granny Pig. Pig. <laughs> we'll put all the slugs and snails in the bucket. Ah, one little snail. Two little snails. <laughs> and a slug. Ugh. Slugs are yucky. <laughs> Here are Grandpa Pig's chickens. Sarah, Jemima, Vanessa and Neville. Hello, chickens. I need to put the chickens to bed. Night-night, chickens. Night-night, chickens. Night-night. Why aren't the slugs and snails in bed, Grandpa? Because they're up all night eating my vegetables. Some animals eat in the daytime, like my chickens, and some animals eat at night, like, oh, Mr Fox. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Putting your chickens to bed, are you? Oh, yes. Nice and cosy in the hen house. Surely good. Well, I'll be on my way. Good night. Good, good night. night. Now, as I was saying, some animals eat at night, like... <laughs> oh, hello. Grandpa, there's a little animal in your bucket. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes, it's a hedgehog. They like to eat slugs and snails. Hello, hedgehog. <laughs> oh, he's rolled into a ball. Yes, Peppa. He is very shy. Come out, Mr Hedgehog. Don't be scared. I like hedgehogs. They are very good at keeping slugs and snails off my lovely lettuce. Bye-bye, <laughs> hedgehog. Bye-bye. Are there any more night animals, Grandpa? Yes, there are moths. Ooh, they look like butterflies. Butterflies that come out at night. They light the torchlight. When it goes off, they leave. When the light goes on, they come back. <laughs> Can I try? OK. Bye-bye, moths. Hello, moths. Bye-bye, moths. <laughs> and if we leave the torch off, we can see another very tiny night animal. Where? Look up at the sky. Is it a shooting star? No, that is a firefly. Is it on fire? Oh, no, Peppa. It has a tummy that glows. Wow! Are there any big night animals in your garden, Grandpa? No. Oh, what's that? It's a big night animal. Oh, it's Granny Pig. <laughs> There you are. Granny, Granny, we've been saying hello to all the night animals. <laughs> Lovely. But now it's time to say good night to them. Good night, night animals. <sighs> and it's well past bedtime for you little piggies. Yes, Granny Pig. Good, good night, night, little, little ones. ones. Good night, Granny. Good night, Grandpa. Night, night. Thank <laughs> you.